What's up YouTube, Adam here, aka The Sound Scotsman and I want to show you today the difference between giant hogweed and our normal native kind. Now giant hogweed is the dangerous kind but it is in our country. It has been here since the Victorian times but not everybody knows about it. So the first thing here is, you'll notice, is the size of it. Okay, so to give it a little bit of a perspective, that is the height when it blooms into flowers, you'll get about 30 heads on it. It's not at that stage at the moment. At the moment it's all this sort of a leafy. And notice how the leaves are a little bit jagged. So this is the kind that you do want to be staying away from because if you get the sap on you, you get the sap in your eyes, you'll probably go blind. If you get it on your skin, it is phototoxic, which means it burns your skin in the sun when you get the sap and it causes really, really nasty blisters. So that's what the stuff looks like. I'll show you what the common kind looks like. So this is the native kind, nowhere near as dangerous as the giant stuff. But you'll see there on the end of the leaves how it's a little bit more rounded. Now I'm not afraid to touch this kind. You wouldn't really particularly want to touch it on a hot day, but it's nowhere near as phototoxic as the giant stuff. But it is kind of a similar looking shape wise. So you get a good picture of it there. Sometimes it does look quite similar. But, you know, again, you go to to the ends and how it's a little bit more rounded. It's not quite as jaggy as the other stuff. So that's kind of the difference. So that was that was the common stuff. This is the, the giant kind again. And I'm just going to, obviously I don't want to touch this at all. But you'll see how my hand next to it, you'll get the scale of it. A little bit better and how the ends are a little bit pointier on the end of the leaf. The other day I seen a picture of a little girl's hand and it was covered in blisters so I thought I'll make this wee video just to show you because it is particularly difficult to tell at this time of year the difference between them and just to even raise awareness about it a little bit because I don't think as many people know about it as you would think. So yeah, just steer, steer clear of it if you don't know what the difference is, if you can't tell by looking at it, just stay completely away from it, don't try and tackle it yourself, it's supposed to be done by professionals and maybe let your, your your family members, kids in the area, that kind of a thing, uh, know about it if you see any, okay?